Hey, it's FTJS Caster 10, and I'm here with another video. It's been a while since I made one. Hopefully, this one is a bit better than my previous ones. Um, I finally got Linux installed, and I've been messing around with that. I got Ubuntu 11.10, so 11-10, whatever, however you want to say it. And I'm gonna help you guys learn how to install Enlightenment. It'll be through terminal, as you can see, the lines are below. And first thing I'm going to do is tell you to open up terminal here. It, I have it put there. However, you can go to your dash home, which is right there. And you have to wait for it to come up, obviously. Then you can either search it or click the button I choose here and it would be right there for me. However, it's probably more efficient to type in terminal if I can type it. <laughs> and it should be boom. Frequently used and installed and whatnot. What you gotta do is open those. Open one of them, that is. And this is a lightweight desktop environment it is a little bit slow, but it's enlightenment. It's actually kind of nifty, kind of cute. So, I have terminal up here. The first line is going to be sudo space add dash apt dash repository space ppa semicolon hanas H-A-N-N-E-S dash Let me get typed up here. Go ahead and move it down a little bit. Uh, Jane, Janet, Zek, however you want to look at it. Jane, T-Z-E-K slash enlightenment dash S-B-N Give me a second here to go ahead and type all that in there and once you have that all typed in double check it that's always been a problem with me doing stuff and I'm going to give you a close up dot svn ok go ahead and hit enter there and then it'll ask for your password you go ahead and put your password in click enter again and it'll ask you to press enter for continuing and of course you want to do that now you have some lines pop up whoop de do you gotta go to your next one it just says it's there is what those lines mean to me the next line here is sudo space apt dash get space update what that does is it gives you the most up to date version it allows you to download a lot of that stuff instead of all updating it. And right there I did screw up. Go ahead and fix that. And you click enter here and a whole bunch of bullshit will come up and you'll have to go through it and it'll usually it'll be pretty quick because all it's doing is reading and listing your packages that updates and whatnot. You gotta go ahead and go down to your next line, the third line, which is almost always the last line. This line is sudo space apt dash get space install e17 oh all right. my bad guys I actually had to switch this part out here because I screwed up the first time as you can see. Anyway install space E17 space D E T O U R I O U S Detorious is that word there. You gotta go ahead and find out how to spell that out. And you dash thing and you go ahead and click OK. And then it won't ask you if you want to. You go ahead and say yes. Because this is usually what you want to do when you're looking online for help on how to do it. So you click Y, click Enter, and 
I'm going to be skipping through this, but what happens here is you download it. It shows you how much time it is down at the bottom right, and it tells you how long it is. Here I also screwed up a little bit. Give it a second. You have to give it a second, and then it'll start downloading and unpacking. Actually, it's already done downloading. It's unpacking and packing and selecting, and it does its thing. give it a second and that will be your last line is what you can start typing on again so from here what you do is you go ahead and X out of everything that you're in uh, yep and go ahead and shut down click shut down that is you want to restart it it's better power wise but other than that, it makes no difference. I'm going to skip through this. Okay, we're back here. We're at the login screen. To change to a different setup, you click this gear. I have GNOME Classic on here, and Ubuntu, Ubuntu 2D. But like I've been doing, we're going with Enlightenment. Go ahead and click that. Notice it'll have a little white dot next to it. Go ahead and type in your password. Mine is a password that no one will ever guess. Imagine that. Okay, it does this loady cool stuff. You might have some questions prompted to you. This is what is on your desktop. It appears all up here. It's just a... Ah, crap, I forget already. It's a double-click interface. It's at the the exits on the right. And then for some reason mine always says that. Down here you have your workspaces like there. Uh, you have four workspaces here, and then next to them are if I pull up, let's suppose Google Chrome, they'll pop up. Notice that changes right there. Okay, and I'll go ahead and put it down the tablet and you might you can't really see it but it's right there I can kind of see it that's your temperature I believe this is your time this right here opens your kind of start menu you go through all of it it's all sorted out nice and neat run everything windows that you have up that one would be one of those windows. Exits up there. You can also just left click on there and you have that same exact thing. Right clicking doesn't do anything, by the way. Let's just find a quick, easy calculator. Oh, calculators go down there. Never mind. I'll go up here and click that. Notice at the bottom there's always space left open so you can always access this pretty nifty pretty awesome it's something different I haven't worked with it enough we'll see wallpaper picture maybe I could change it ah. You'd have to go to pictures and pick a picture. I don't have any pictures, so it don't it won't work. And you can change it, I suppose, through that. Other than that, it's just the same thing. Hope you guys like the video. Hope you guys subscribe. Check out all my other videos. I do have a lot of good stuff coming your way. This is FTJ SKS210, and I'm out.